Hey everyone, I'm your host Jibo, and this is It Never Ends, Part 16. Matt Healy, who I've covered before, can be seen having a wing tattoo on his chest. Another thing that I haven't shown is this rose tattoo on his torso. In the game Among Us, we see the sign of secrecy. Rapper Chris King, who I've covered before, sadly was shot and killed. His final project conveniently had one eye. I've already shown him for having wings on his neck, but here's a clearer picture. He can be seen doing the one eye here, as well as being pictured with Justin Bieber and XXXTentacion. Before we move on, why did he have an all-seeing eye tattoo on his finger? Basketball player PJ Washington has an all-seeing eye tattoo on his shoulder. Conveniently, it's connected to a rose tattoo as well. Could this relate to the wings he has tattooed? At this point, you should know I'm not stretching when I ask this question. Could this all relate to aliens? I believe so because he has a UFO abducting a man above a pyramid here. In the video game Skyrim, we could see the one eye. And a Torv who shows it seems to have a secret. We see the one eye in the movie Carnivores and the hand sign of Osiris by Johnny Fairplay. In this movie called House of Villains, we see the hand sign of Osiris and the vow of silence in the cover. Could this relate to the hand sign Gustavo Cerretti shows? Nicolas Cage, who I've covered in a previous part, as well as in numerous films of mine, conveniently has a company called Saturn Films. If you know, you know. Why did this company call itself New World Pictures? Suicide Boys, a group I've covered, recently announced an album called New World Depression. And Russell Brand, who I've shown before, had a comedy tour called The True World Order. He also has 33 tattooed on him. This is a Freemasonic number, and you can see it here on the Scottish Rite logo. Russell Brand actually was asked if he was a Freemason, and he said this. Mr. Brand, firstly, (laughs) explain... Aggressive... Firstly, explain the number 33 tattooed on you in the wrist. You're a smart man and must know that it's colossal importance to Freemasonry. Well, it's not Freemasonry, actually. I'm not... You can't be a Freemason, I don't think, if you've got a criminal record. What, to me, it means, mate, is it's when uh, Jesus died, and I um, love a bit of Jesus. So, uh, it's as simple as that. The company Aldi has 33 in their logo, and this other movie company, New Line Cinema, has the same as well. In the movie The Crow, we see this inverted cross tattoo, not to mention this all-seeing eye tattoo as well. Could this relate to the themes of possession we see? What about the one eye? It's everywhere. Once again, we also see the pillars. In the movie Mad Max Furiosa, we see the one eye. Not to mention the movie Pool Man, we see the same. Over and over, we see this. In this particular shot, you can see the triangle. In the movie Sweet Dreams, we see pillars too. In the first omen, it's no different. The hand sign of Osiris can be seen in this trailer, not to mention the one eye. You really have to wonder why this is being done. In this trailer for the movie Strangers, it's no different. In this trailer we can see the owl symbol, as well as the one eye. In the trailer for No Exit, it's no different. The pillars, once again, can be seen. In the movie No Way Up, you can see what you're seeing. The vow of silence was in this trailer. In the trailer for Barbarian, we can see the one eye, really making you wonder why it's being done. Could it relate to the attire Kiki Palmer's wearing? We see the sign of fidelity in this movie, mixed with a shirt showing one eye. Not to mention the owl again as well. Considering the movie is about a UFO, do I really need to ask the question again? Maybe the one eye that we see throughout the same film explains it all itself. 
In the trailer for Borderlands, it's no different. We see the Vow of Silence as well. In this trailer, we could see the pillars. And in this one, we see the one eye. Masonic signs are everywhere. And you can't deny it. There's no way it only took 30 minutes to find all of this. But yet it did. Everything you see is obvious. In the movie Argyle, we could see the same stuff. Really making you wonder, why is all of this here to see? Could the live streamer action man who I've covered before know why it's done? As you can see, it never ends.